This video is going to include three unique destinations in the heart of Cairo, which can sometimes be intimidating for tourists. We want to share our experience with you so you know what to expect and can feel confident when you go to visit. To protect pedestrians from this crazy traffic you see here, they build tunnels underneath the roadway. But the local people, they don't want to walk under the tunnel, which we'll show you a little later. Instead, they cut a hole in the fence and they're lined up in the middle of the street, cutting through the fence and then dodging the traffic to cross the street. It is crazy and bizarre and that kind of the fun of Cairo though. People ask us over and over again, how are the people in Egypt? How are the people in Cairo? And this is a perfect example. They're just friendly. They're great. They, you know, he doesn't like the horn honking, but uh, once he figured out what's going on, he's like, oh, this is so cool. Hi, you know, they're waving to the camera. Great people, friendly people. You should go and visit these people. It is an amazing experience. So I left this section in the video so you can get some of the sensations of the sounds and the looks of Cairo. This obviously again is the crazy traffic where you shouldn't be trying to cross the street. Instead you just use this tunnel and it's so clear and so obvious and yeah we're walking really quick across the tunnel. But in any case you can safely cross the major streets this way or you could always cut a hole in the fence and cut through that way. That's right, we're introducing a new character to our video, a special guest who is here in Cairo with us, who is now instantly becoming a star. All right, so she's now done posing for selfies, and let's get into the heart of the Kahan El Kahili Bazaar, which is in the center of Cairo. This is the more touristy area. Locals definitely do shop here, but you know, this is where the tourists go. And just a little history of it. Obviously, it's been here forever. There have been a couple very serious terrorist things which have gone on in years past. It's very secure now and fine. We had no issues whatsoever. Just wander around, wander into these shops, you know, these local store owners. Some of this oh, stuff is unique is craft surprised. stuff that's made there. Oh, some of it's clearly probably made in China and brought in, but it's just such an amazing experience. The people are interesting. The things wow. you see are really interesting. Like, look at these things which we stopped to look at. I'm pretty sure they're just giant honey? chunks of honey or something yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Delicious. We're wandering down and we're closing in on one of our favorite little shops that we found which was an artist and the name of the shop is Bakar Kahan and they've been a second generation artist who's been there forever. No, it's not this place, it's the next place. We're in the Bakar Khan Design Larkin. Company. The designs ah, first. Okay. By pencil. Ah. And then we find the, the fabric. Okay. What color, what color of fabric. Right, okay. And then we choose it and then we do it by navel. Wow. Yes. My father started this in 1921. 1921, his father started this. Oh, wow, that's your dad. My dad tried to keep wow. doing it. Right. That's and awesome. And you do something more interesting? They invite me in a festival of Khan, Bakr Khan design. Oh, that's awesome. I was in the red carpet. Oh, you were? That's great. <laughs> oh. And now, so what are some of these letters here? Shaped like a gazelle. Right, yes. The eye of the gazelle. Ayn al maha. Look at the shape. Right. Like a gazelle. Right. Yes. 
And these are the most beautiful eyes in the history of Pharaoh. Right. Eyes of Horus. Eyes of Horus, which we saw. Yes. Yeah. And this is freedom. Horia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. I'm not, I'm not going to make you a discount, but I gave you as a gift what the best eye I have in my shop, like your eye. I give you the eyes of Horus. I sell it for a for, for 150, but I make it you as a for. All right, what do you say we get back out to the market in general and check out some of the stuff? Look, you can, look at this. You can buy cereal here. <laughs> Switzerland is the only thing I can find. Oh, really? Yeah. The cornflakes are like, uh, fruity, like fruity, fruity. 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 Oh, yeah. Cereal is in, like, the candy shop. As you'll see, while we are the tourists, and this is the touristy area, there are more locals here than there are tourists. It's a great place, I'm sure, for them to hang out and come have some tea and a little party in the middle of the day. We're working on trying to find postcards. They're working very hard for this two dollar deal. <laughs> two dollars. Maybe that'd be it's like twenty cents. Twenty postcards right. in the whole country. Okay, they're working very hard for this. Twenty cents. Oh, did you know? Okay, you have to get a picture of that. Okay, was this like interesting looking little carpet that looked like it was made out of a little dog, cat, raccoon, rabbit? I do it with twenty five US now. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Okay, this may look a little like a local flea market, but when was the last time you saw a bus cruising right through the center of your local flea market? I don't think you've seen that one before. Tourist off. A perfume place. You think they make it? The Salusicine? I mean, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, I think he's starting to. Get him like a little, like. They're pretty cool, right? Wow. Yeah. This one's cool. Oh, he is. You can't transport that. That's true. Yes, you can. You bring it with you and say you need a cane. What are they going to do? Tell you no? Sound like a whip for people. Oh, whip. Oh, my God. Going to buy three. Wow, that's interesting. I've tried to buy them a couple of times. Dad's like, you're not taking, you're not taking, what did you call it, stones home? Make that. Those look better with the lights. Oh, those are pretty. All right, while we switch to the next location, please take a moment, click that like button for us, and maybe comment. Do you found this stuff interesting, or have you been someplace like this before? Yeah, I want you to tell me that. We're going to quickly tour one of the three remaining gates from the wall that used to be around Old Cairo. The gate is called the Bab Zuella. Bab Zuella. Okay. Yeah. Okay, they took away our little vlogging camera, but let us keep our big Canon professional okay. cameras. You can see how they take the... The cheap Maria camera. Stupida. They take the cheap camera, and this one's okay. The other one is decked out looking like a Right. Yes, yeah, so I was saying our little vlogging camera has a handle and a light and a big microphone on it, and our fancy Canon cameras uh, just don't have any of that on that. So they were like, cool, take it with you. So as I said before, we're now on the roof of one of the original gates overlooking the bazaar and neighboring city. We're at the top of the little uh, rooftop prior to climbing up the minaret, and I have to say Cairo from above is a little rough. Definitely quite dirty, the rooftop, so let's give you a little look. It's like, oh, it's like more run down, falling apart dirty not like not like china dirty where like everything was just right, smoggy yeah. and dirty this is like falling apart poor dirty yeah yeah okay 
We have a photo shoot going on over here. Let's leave this gatehouse and get back into the streets of Cairo. Look at this. It is so cool. Stick with us for another two minutes and let's take a look off the beaten path and look at what the local market looks like. Okay, none of us have scooters in our market. None of us have minivans going through the market either, but maybe we should change the rules here in the United States. You know, dodge a couple minivans while you're shopping. It's a little trafficy here, but nothing bad. And this guy, again, another local guy, looked totally happy, totally cool with us. And how interesting is this guy just sitting there shining shoes on the side of the road? And she's like, see, she's like selling the outfits. It's kind of, yeah. Okay, I had to slow this down to add my own thoughts. Look at these costumes. This woman, the super conservative woman, is selling lingerie that would be completely good in the Victoria's Secret lingerie show. That's what I wanted to know. I'm like, maybe that's the outfit she has underneath. Now we know where they get their outfits. So I was wondering, I haven't seen any of them before. Where do they get them? Come in look. Miser, but near other side of the market. Ah, okay. So this is called Miser Street? Hmm? This El is Mais? El, El, El Miser Street. Street. El, El Miser Street. El Miser Street divided into two parties. Because in, the, in Cairo, the city was surrounded by enclosure wall. El Miser Street from this side, like this side. Okay. This side, the gate of Zuela. Okay. The yes? One, yeah. And in the middle, over there. That's okay. The I other see. side will complete if you like it today or tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to the market and the other side right. the market. Okay. But up to you. Okay. We hope you enjoyed this tour and want to go visit it now. We thought we'd leave you with a little anarchy. Cairo style, whether it be guys riding through the crowd on motorcycles, getting almost run over by little kids pushing giant carts, and then let's try to cross the street. Oh, Please MG. take the time to comment below. We want to hear from you. Hit that like button, and if you haven't yet, after 10 minutes of this, actually 12 minutes, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.